Federer versus Nadal, Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo, Bird versus Magic. Will we one day talk about Littler versus Humphreys as one of the greatest rivalries in sports? Who knows? Right now, they're splitting the biggest titles on the PDC circuit, and it looks like they'll keep doing it for years to come. In this video, we'll break down position, stance, grip, and everything that makes their game unique. What makes them so great? Let's find out. Let's start by analyzing the position. Humphreys stands just a fingernail to the right, while Littler is one step to the right. Humphreys uses an open stance, while in contrast, Littler uses a closed stance. With closed stance, the supporting foot is horizontal, you are closer to the target, but it is less comfortable than an open or forward stance. The alignment of Littler is perfect. You can draw a line from the eyes to the heel, while Humphreys has his elbow slightly out of line. Let's move to the stance. We can see that the balance of both is excellent during the entire throwing phase. Humphreys only uses the toe of the supporting foot. Interesting to see how Littler extends his arm and then only moves his forearm, while Humphreys actually raises his elbow during the pullback. Both have their shoulders tilted forward, which leads to a lower elbow. Let's analyze the grip. Both use a fairly similar forefinger grip. Thumb and index finger hold the dart towards the end, practically on the stem. The difference is in the middle and ring finger. Littler puts the middle finger over the body of the dart and the ring finger under the tip, while Humphreys puts the middle finger under the body of the dart and the ring finger over the tip. Grip in general, not among the most used if we look at the totality of PDC players. Curious that the world number one and two use it. From the front cam, we can see that both are right eye dominant. The movement with different styles is, however, quite similar. Dart brought in line with the eye, pull back and release. Littler, when he finishes the pullback, adds a rotation of the wrist, which is usually not recommended as it is an additional element to control. But if you have Littler's talent, you can do whatever you want. Let's analyze the movement and throwing angle of the players. Humphrey's movement is peculiar. He does not fully extend his arm in the loading phase, but simply raises his elbow. The movement appears very short indeed. In both cases, it is difficult to identify a set, pull back, and release phase as the throw is as if it were a single movement. In fact, we can say that they are two fast throwing players. Both perform an excellent release with the arm perfectly extended. Speaking of speed, I like to include it in the analysis because it is my opinion that watching a match between two fast players is much more spectacular than watching two slow players. In this case, we are talking about two very fast players, just over four seconds for both, among the fastest on the PDC circuit. Fast pace, power scoring, 180s, the matches between the two Lukes are always a show for the fans. Grip, shoulder position, rhythm. There are definitely points of contact between the action of Littler and Humphreys, despite their two different styles. They certainly share a great deal of talent, and given their young age, it could truly give rise to one of the greatest rivalries in the history of the sport. Thanks for watching the video. Write in the comments which other comparisons you would like to see and subscribe to support the channel.